My name is Kara Walls. I grew up on the rodeo circuit. My dad was a stock contractor. He bought me my first horse before I was born. He was a rodeo clown through the 70s. My mom said at three years old I was riding horses by myself. I did everything from roping and trick riding, but I always barrel raced. We had pictures of all this stuff, but we had a house fire and we lost everything. I was your stereotypical daddy's girl. Um, did everything with him. We were very close. We had that house fire, and shortly after, we found out he had a brain tumor, and he was given only a couple months to live. Those final months, he st was still on the road. I mean, he kept producing rodeos. Nothing slowed him down. By the time he passed, you know, it was, it was expected, and we knew it was coming, and um, I tried to rodeo for a little while, and the horse he had bought me, I had to put him down. So it was like one thing after another. It was pretty tough for a while. He just taught me always to be real determined and um, work hard and positive thinking. He was really big on, on staying positive no matter the circumstances. I've always had whatever would fit my budget, you know, older trailers that needed work and needed to be fixed up. And once I started hauling a lot, I knew I needed to step into something I could stay in. And a living quarters, you know, is kind of the dream, but it was becoming more practical, like I need one. Um, the cost of hotels is crazy. So I started looking. I went online and started reading heart trailer reviews. I could not find out one bad review, and that blew me away. And then people posted pictures of accidents they'd been in with their heart trailer, and how you know that trailer, the way it's built, basically saved their horses. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna save up a little bit more and I'm gonna go buy it. The whole point of having a living quarters enables me to travel more. It makes it easier for me to go to rodeos far farther away. To me, a living quarters is pretty much, if you're gonna be on the road competing, it's a necessity almost. You see quality all throughout it too. Dad passed when I was a teenager, and so a lot of my travel and competing has been on the road by myself, and that's a, a major concern is my safety, their safety, not being stuck on the side of the road alone, trying to do something out in the middle of nowhere. I can say that rodeo, that's that's what kept me, it's kept that connection alive with my dad. Um, people all the time are always telling me how proud he would be to see me out there doing what I'm doing and competing. And What got me through those hard times was just the passion for it, the love for it. My dad always told me once it's in your blood, it, it stays in your blood, you can't get it out of you.